Hey guys, I just want to do a little update. I want to show off some cool new features that I'm going to be using in uh, this new big video that I'm trying to make. So yeah, sorry for the delay on new stuff, but you know, I know it's been like, what, three weeks since I released something new, but I've been quite busy with the script itself and, well, I've been also looking for things that can sort of help me out. One of which is VRC Lens, is what I'm using here right now in front of me. And now there is a new feature, which uh, you can kind of see behind me. You see these rails, that are, these little uh, these little pointy thingies? The, that's actually part of this avatar, and I'll show you how that works shortly. But yeah, the gold now works much better. I've got some pretty cool stuff. So this avatar, like... Uh, part of the problem with having lights on an avatar is that it immediately tanks your rating. This avatar's rating is good, but I can do this. See that? Shine that at the uh, thing. I've got a little light in my hand now. And uh, that was courtesy of Jay, so it doesn't actually use a proper light. It uses a shader to do that, which is pretty neat. And I've also got this. If I step back a little and turn that off. I could got a little. He's thrown in a little spell that makes my. Uh, that makes all my. Uh, oh, I'm floating. It works on movement, so if I jump up and down, it will just keep triggering itself. But um, yeah, he threw that in there. I didn't ask him to. He just did it. But that a little light is useful. And as I said, it's a shader. It's not actually a proper point light, so it doesn't affect performance nowhere near as harshly. So I will be keeping this on here. Um, it has a little disc. It comes from like a little disc on the on the palm, but that's just normal because of the way the because the way it works, which is fine. But not only is all the gold being fixed, uh, uh, this whole entire avatar, everything on it, pretty much everything, is now being done by VRC Fury. Now, if you don't know what VRC Fury is, it's essentially a um, it's a tool that you put in Unity, that enables you to do some things incredibly easily. So, if I wanted to stick a object on the avatar that I toggle on and off, normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to go make like parameter for the... I think you've had to make a parameter for the actual object itself, put it on the avatar, position it in the correct place, then make an animation for it turning on and off, make sure the, it doesn't loop, then you have to create a menu or a sub-menu and, and, and toggle it and... You've got to make sure the defaults are correct and all this. To, to, to make something like that work simply, it was a lot of work. VRC Fury, all you do is add, like, one new menu on the avatar itself or wherever. You say you want this to toggle, which can be, like, the object that you've already sort of attached to the avatar in the correct position. And you want it to toggle on what? You put it on, oh, on, the, on a button on the menu. And then you basically just hit go, and that'll be it. It will do everything for you. It is very clever, the way it works. And it, can, it can't just do that, but it can do a, a lot of other things as well. I mean, Tupper himself actually recommends people use it. And now I'm recommending it, because it makes things so much easier. I don't need to keep having to go to people like Jay or, 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 or Jess or other people, or, or Rio, for example. People that I know that are very good at this stuff, much better than me. I don't need to go to them anymore for these simple things. I can now do it myself. I can I could have I could do some things before, but now I can do a lot more. Right, now I'll show you what these things are. So one of the things that we uh missed when VRChat removed mods is a camera rails system. So you could essentially put these little markers around the world. And you can say, all right, camera, go. And it will go between these different markers and it will float between them all. And you can make place, make, you can make scenes play out while the camera is moving around by itself according to your instructions over a certain amount of time. But when they got rid of mods, that was unfortunately gone. But some genius, I'm just going to get his name, his or her name right now. They are made, made by... I'm bringing it up now on Gumroad. They are called HPPE Def. So HPPE -E DEAF. Um, they've made this thing called VRChat Camera Animation, 
which essentially returns that feature to the game by putting it on your avatar itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate it. So this is in, this is in, this works with VRC lens, by the way. As long as you follow the instructions, sometimes it can be difficult to understand, though. Uh, it works with it. So now I'm just going to go VRC lens. I'm going to turn the drone off, so you're going to go to first person mode for a minute, and then play. And there it goes. The camera is now circling around me by itself. I haven't done that. I'm not moving it around with a with a controller. It's just following the rails that I set up. And now it should move off towards the front of the ship. To give you a nice little look at the uh, vista over there. And then it's going to come over here. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. But yeah, I just wanted to show this feature off, because these are things that are going to help enormously with all the uh, sort of video ideas I have. So now that VRC Fury is working properly on the avatar, and now that this is working, I can do a lot more. One of the problems that I had before is this avatar had a lot of... Um, it, had, it made use of a lot of right defaults, which is like an obsolete thing that you're not really supposed to do for avatars anymore. With VRC Fury and Jay, he's got rid of all of that, so now nothing should break. Because before, if I put my ears down, or try to, with v with anything that had VRC Fury on, it would just break. Because it would overwrite all the right defaults. But now that's no longer a thing. So yeah, I just wanted to show this off. Uh, I'm going to quickly go back to the camera. There you go. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I don't know when my next video is going to be out. It will be sometime soon. That's all I can say. I'm taking my time with this one because it is a complicated one. Uh, anyway, bye-bye. Thank you for watching.